Kevin Mackay, known as Mickey, auto suburb of Richmond Hill on February 28, 1986, and raised in the Barrie area, about an hour north of Toronto. While growing up, Kevin spent much of his time outdoors. He loved camping, fishing, and sports, particularly hockey. Kevin spent his winters on the ice as a goaltender with the Barry Flyers AAA organization. Kevin was a likable, popular kid and had lots of friends. He was generous, kind, and quick-witted with a great sense of humor. Makai, what do you uh, what do you want to tell the press about that one? What do you want to tell the press about that one? Uh, I just give 110 <laughs> percent. No, I got a good team. You know, we just we just make magic happen. That's all. Thanks a lot. At the age of 21, Kevin Mackay enlisted in the Canadian Armed Forces, where he thrived in the military environment. Following eight weeks of basic training in St. Jean, Quebec, Private Kevin Mackay was posted to the 1st Battalion, Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry, based in Edmonton, Alberta. Fred Mackay says his son enlisted in the Canadian forces with the one purpose of going to Afghanistan and doing his part to improve the lives of the Afghan people. Over 130 Canadian soldiers had been killed in the seven-year engagement. But that wasn't about to slow Kevin down. And that's what he told me in a, in a private moment between us before he went away. He said, it's not right what happens to those kids over there. They show up for school and they have acid thrown on their faces or uh, you know, teachers are murdered because they're teachers. Uh, that can't go on. And uh, he said, I've had a good life and upbringing here in Canada. I'd like to make it possible for those kids in Afghanistan to at least just get a glimpse of how good things can be if they uh, can go to school and uh, have a brighter future. That's why he went to Afghanistan in a nutshell, is for the kids. Canadian troops were working with the Afghan army to clear villages of insurgents in order to create the secure environment required for development to resume. Private Mackay was out on what was to be his final night patrol. In teams of four, the troops were sweeping on foot through a village in the Panjwe district in search of insurgents and bomb-making materials. It was... Uh late and dark. They had just cleared a building. They got word over the radio that uh, one of the drones had spotted uh, someone planting what looked like an IED in one of the fields near their location and they were given a uh, green light to uh, make contact with that uh, person. So they uh, hustled out of the second floor of this building. They uh, went down the steps and the IED had been planted at the bottom of the steps. Corey Lee McDonald had the lead. Um, he stepped over it. Kevin stepped right on it and was killed instantly. And uh, Jason Hart and uh, uh, Dallas uh, White uh, were both wounded badly. Fred Mackay says that watching his son being unloaded from a military aircraft in a flag-draped coffin was one of the worst memories of the whole experience. But he says the roller coaster of emotions quickly swung the other way during the drive down the Highway of Heroes. There was police officers, there was firefighters, um, but just regular everyday Canadians. Um, you know, grandma and grandpa with their little grandchild waving a flag for Kevin. So it's very emotionally uplifting and uh, it, uh, it's, it's a very proud moment to, to go along the Highway of Heroes and be on the receiving end of that uh, respect and honor. And I wish we could have him back for just one minute so we could tell him how uh, proud we are of him. Just one minute. I'd give anything for that. Following the funeral, Private Mackay was laid to rest among other heroes at the National Military Cemetery of Canada, housed at Beechwood Cemetery in Ottawa. The Mackay family couldn't be prouder of Kevin for his work in trying to make a distant land just a little bit brighter. Fred points out that when Canadians first went into Afghanistan, very few children attended school, and of those who did, none were female. But now there's uh, 
nine million children attending school regularly in Afghanistan. And uh, that was music to our ears, because that's why Kevin went. You can call it mission accomplished, you can call it a victory for Canadian soldiers, but uh, that uh, is, a, is a, uh, a fine way to uh, judge the success of a military endeavor, especially one that's ten years long. Not by counting the casualties and the wounded and on both sides, but uh, when you can say nine million children are now going to school, that's going to make a difference in the future of, of, of Afghanistan. What I